what is going on we are back here on twitch here for another game we got a double header here on twitch tonight should be a fun ride got home a little bit earlier so might as well get the games rolling right i think that's a good idea as we're gonna set up for this first game i see caboose already hating in the chat so you already know it's gonna be a good evening three more games here in the regular season and this past week, well, this past weekend, this week that we're currently in, it had some pretty good games there. I'm going to start uploading them to YouTube, the ones that I did on Twitch and everything like that. You know how we do. But make sure you show some love to the channels. Show some love to all of our affiliates and sponsors. We'll talk about them a little bit later. Yeah, I know, right? Me getting early? That's crazy. That's just ridiculous. So here I am trying to take advantage, trying to give back to the people. I even got myself a drink. Can you believe it? Let's go ahead and get into it. It's going to be Anchorage and Arizona in this ball game. Should be a fun ride as always. And I can't wait to see how this one clicks down for these two teams. Anchorage, they already know that they're going to the playoffs. So now they're just looking for some momentum going into their road trip towards St. Louis next week. Arizona, they played a valiant effort in the second half of the season, and here they are. I don't know how you ch <laughs> did he said Jack and Coke in the chat. That is exactly what I'm drinking, but it's the Apple version of Jack Tennessee Apple. I'm doing that tonight. Lost my train of thought there, but Arizona, they already know they're not going to make the playoffs this year, but they played a great job within the last half to show me that they have a lot of life here. I'm expecting them to push towards a playoff spot next year, led by Kyle Wu. But now they want to get the victory. Let's go ahead and get this thing kicked off. Hit that play game button like that. Let's go ahead and flip over to we got the Fox ticker for this ball game. So let's get into it. It's going to be a fun ride as always. Let's see the return. Looks like it's Jaquay Walls taking a pass the 25 yard line and they're the home team in this one. So let's see if they could get one more victory to send them home. Well, as they build towards the future, looking for action. Jackson Jr. Passing the right side is going to be caught. And drop down at the 30, so about a gain of two on that play. Is going to set up second and eight. And yeah, I do have Jack and Coke. I have some crown as well, but I chose the check. I chose the Jack today. Let me go ahead and disable this preview on my side so you can get the best of the best. Let me know how I'm sounding. I'm not quite intoxicated yet, so it should be good. Looking for a run, and there goes that man Copeland who's going to push forward. And picks up eight. Arizona on the move, trying to get the victory. Can't you see? It's first down here for the home team. Single back formation. They do have the bunch. So there's a lot of directions they could go to. They're going to choose the right side. It's going to be caught by Amari Jones, who had a great game last week. Expecting them to be a very good piece here for this Arizona team for the future. Going to make it second and seven. You know me, though, even if I am home, there's still a tendency of me actually working still. You know how it goes as that pass is going to be incomplete. Trying to get that to Jaquay Walls. Couldn't hang on through contact. Anchorage trying to get off of the field. They're in a good spot now. He's going to set up third and seven. Looks like Anchorage is winning the prediction so far. No one has betted on Arizona for this ball game. Looking to pass it again. Going to throw this short, and there's two main defensive players there, including Parker Howe and Mike Edwards. That's going to be a stop on third down, and Anchorage is going to get the ball for the first time. Dodge your life. What's happening, big homie? Dodge your life. If you can. Oh, actually, no, you can't do the next game either because you're actually playing it. So I was about to say if you had a t if you had time to do the a game tonight, you could have done the Huntington Beach game. But 
you're going to be watching to see if you will make history within the USFA to be the first team ever to go undefeated. Yeah, you chilling off the, on the off day. I ain't mad at you. I got home early, so I wanted to crank these games out for you. Looking forward to faking the handoff here. And he's going to launch this one to the right side. And going to be snagged by Keith Simmons over the head of the cornerback. And that's going to make it first and 10 already. Anchorage looking nice. And Dane Jones is looking like his Arizona State self. I believe he's from Arizona State. Remind me in the chat. Dodger life if he's from Arizona State. I'm pretty sure you know. I am right, sweet. Look at me remembering stuff. Looking right side of caught, and there goes their tight end. Wyatt Harris getting inside the 10 yard line. Anchorage is on the move. It's first and goal coming up. First and goal in the shotgun again. It's been working so far for Anchorage, so why lose it? Going to be passing it again. Looking for a man. Right side is going to be caught. Turn it up. Reaching out for the touchdown. And is going to get it. Out the backfield. Ron Jalone, the former Mafia player, gets it done here. And that's going to put Anchorage on top. They're looking real nice here in this ball game. Great defensive stop. And then on the off offensive side, they made it happen. And put points on the board. Kick is going to be up for Brent Skoma, and he is going to knock it through. So it's going to be a quick and easy seven to nothing here for Anchorage. We'll see Arizona come back onto the field, see if they can get something cooking. Playoff juice justice is here. What's going on, big homie? Not quite the playoffs, but you're going to be there next week. And I'll get the schedule hashed out. I'm um, also got to see what Caboose is doing. If you're in the chat, let me know how you're feeling. You'll be good to run the games with me. Or will I be by myself? We ready for the playoffs. That's what my boy Wolf Gold just said. But should be a fun ride here. Five. Well, technically, it's going to be uh, seven more games left in the season if you include the playoffs. After this game is over, so... We already have five of the six playoff seeds secured. Kill a Skrilla, quarterback for Arizona, linebacker for Huntington Beach. Just checked in the chat, getting the giveaway, exclamation point, USFA. I got my Jack and Coke. I'm feeling myself right now. It's first down and 10. Action Jackson Jr., all things considered, had himself a very productive season in regards to stats. I'm going to see if I could pull it up on my phone as we're playing these games. I actually kind of wanted to do that, too, in the last few games. We'll go over some of the bigger players' stats and stuff like that going into this week. So it won't be solidified, obviously, because this game isn't over. But just a good scope of where you are in the league as we see action throws in the middle field. And he threw that a little too early. Then I go for a five-minute call today, and Anchorage already got a tidy up. It was a pretty quick one. Uh, you missed the first pass of the game there for Anchorage. It was like a 51-yard catch, and then that pretty much got them set up, and they threw it to the halfback and got it in. So it's third and eight coming up. Almost got him off sides. Not to be going to pass it again. Looking for a man. Going to throw it short. Going to try to push through, and the defensive player sets him down at the 30, and that is going to make it fourth and three. Anchorage's defense coming strong here so far in the first. Their offense is coming back. Let's see. Let me see where uh, my boy Action Jackson Jr. is. So as of right now, I don't think the stats are all, all the way done. But as it stands for how I'm checking it here, Action Jackson is over 3,500 passing yards. And he has 24 passing touchdowns. So 
Definitely could be a little bit higher. The average to around like one and some change a game. But still a solid year. Nonetheless, he's in the top six in regards to passing touchdowns. As we see the handoff to Ron Gillone. He made one man miss. And he's going to run straight into a Rattler there. Number 30. He's going to make it second and seven coming. Mikey Jackson in the chat. What's going on, big homie? Unfortunately for him, with all of his talent, he will not make the playoffs this year. But bright things are ahead, most definitely for Arizona. I'm expecting them to do very well next year. Especially with Cal Wu at the home. It's going to be a man going and going to give it. Turn up a juke, and he's going to get past the 30, and that's really about it. Going to set up third and two coming up. Wide receiver wise here for wide receiver wise here for Anchorage. We'll talk about it a little bit later as we see the flag. Looks like Sean McGowan is five yards away from cracking a thousand yards on the season. And I believe he's the only one in the top ten. Yes, he is in regards to yards. Touchdown wise, he is in the top five. One touchdown will tie him with fourth with Kevin Lee. But we'll see what happens here. It's third and seven. Middle of the field and almost picked off by Tank Falco Jr. And that's going to be a stop here for Arizona. Taking over overall for your or for your team. Oh, this is the last game of the regular season for you guys, for your team. There's going to be two more games. There's the... Uh, who's playing Dallas and Huntington Beach. And then the last game is Toronto and uh, Pittsburgh playing. As we see the return there. It's going to be first and 10 here. Arizona back on the field. A chance to put on some points and potentially tie the ball game up. And the last game, actually the next two games are the most important of the year. Huntington Beach can be the first team to go 14 and 0 in the season as we see the pass left side is going to be caught by McGowan and there goes Mr. 1000 yards right there as he's going to pick up 14 that's definitely going to put him up there in that 1000 receiver list so congratulations there to Sean McGowan Nerf Huntington Beach <laughs> Passing it again, quick pitch right side and going with the screen there and dragging the man, but he isn't really going up the field. He's going to make a second and eight, a gain of two. Huntington Beach is pretty overpowered. And kill scrolls like who is Caboose? <laughs> Action looking for a man again. Middle of the field. Overthrows McGowan who had a step on Kyrell Ramsey. It's going to be third and eight. Stacks enlighten the man. Well, Caboose is the league owner. He's okay when he wants to be. He's taking too many shots to the head. But overall, good people. It's going to be third and eight coming up. Shotgun set. Looking for a man to throw it to. Turns away to try to get from the rush. Off the back foot and finds his man. There goes Sean Snow catching it. And that should be an easy first down there. That's going to keep the chains moving here for Arizona. It don't matter who he is. It doesn't matter what his name is. band <laughs> pushing forward and he's going to get dragged down by Robert Crone is Jacob Copeland he's going to pick up six got the strong guy formation here has almost got a man off sides looking to launch his right side and almost bounce off of the hands of Amari Jones into a defensive player's hands, but he couldn't hang on to it. He's going to be third and four coming. 
if you smell what stacks is cooking it's third and four we got to see what ajj is cooking here trying to get some points on the board here for arizona it's going to be hand this one off and pushing for for a big gain it's sean snow and add 15 more that's a face mask there by jar martinez that was pretty clear as day that's going to move it half a distance to the goal i believe so solid job nonetheless it's going to be first and 10 to cut again here for arizona Down to the 10 yard line. 10 and a half. That's what you want to call it. Bunch at the top of your screen. Looking for a man in his action. Gonna throw a short. Gonna try to turn up and stopped. And there goes Parker Howe there on the tackle. Second and 10 coming up as we hit the final two minutes of the first quarter. Second and ten here, shotgun set, passing it right side, looking for the man, dragging the toes, and he just could not get his last one there. That's going to make it third and ten coming up. Looks like Amari Jones got a last ditch effort to try to push forward, and he got one yard shy. Arizona could go forward in theory. And it looks like they are. No holds barred here in the final game of the season. Passing it again, left side, and almost picked off. And the Anchorage Snow Devils holds them at the gate. And Anchorage is going to start pretty close to their own end zone, but you can consider points taken off of the board here in this ball game here for this Anchorage defense. Looked like he had Amari Jones open in the middle of the field, but that would have been a pretty tough uh, ask there from the quarterback to try to fit that in. As it looks like they're going to hand it off, try to give him some room, and it looks like they will be able to do that. It's going to be second and three coming. Always red zone trouble. Why pass? Is what Kill Skrilla says. Should have one more play left in the first quarter. And they're going to pass out of it quickly. And there goes Sean Justice to close out quarter number one here for Anchorage. And we're going to go ahead and flip it over to the other side. Let's get into it. Throw your twos up. Got a lot of people up in here. I love it. Going to look for the pass right side and going to be almost picked off. And that's going to be no good there. It's going to be second and 10. Going to be a delayed handoff using some of his blockers. Turns upfield, makes one man miss, and picks up the first. Is Ron Jalone on his second carry makes good for a solid gain of about 11. Anchorage on the move here. Great blocking there from Keenan Kurt, number 33, to give him that edge to turn back up. And now they're going for the jumbo set here. Maybe they're going for more of a roughneck type of a move here. No, they will not. They're going to fake it here. Looking for a man to throw to and runs out of time. He's going to get sacked. Calvin Thomas getting a half a sack there on this play. Dane Jones very upset as the protection broke down there. Not much he could do there, not to be honest. Ryan Davis, what's happening, big homie? Second and 13 coming up. Ryan Davis' team is going to play a little bit later on as that pass is going to be caught. Pretty much getting some of those yards back. And that's really about it. Third and 10 coming. What's going on, Damien823? What's happening, big homie? 
You said you're coming to the draft. I see you, big homie. Look for a man to throw it to here. Protection solid. The pass is going to be almost picked off by Mikey Jackson. Trying to get it to Simmons, not to be. And the Anchorage defense stalls them again. Sending this one away. A pretty good punt down to the 20. Looking for some blocks. Turn up the field and going to get towards the 35 yard line. So solid starting position here for Arizona. I'm feeling good, man. I got my drink in me. I'm home. I'm doing my thug fizzle. You know how we do. Games keep rolling here in the USFA. And we got two and a half more games left in the regular season so the playoffs started soon throwing this right side is going to be caught but it looked like that was a pretty high tackle there I don't know if that was a face mask or not the referee said it was just below the face mask there so it's going to make it a gain of two Lacey Woodson there with the tackle And off pushing forward and gets past the 40. Going to make it third and three coming up. If you have a player currently in the USF Bay, get into the giveaway. Exclamation point USF Bay. To make that happen for you, maybe you could get a prize in this ball game and then in the next one. You never know. Don't miss out. We got the double header tonight as we see the pass here. Left side is going to be caught. And there goes strong-handed McGowan getting the job done it's first and ten again shotgun set passing it again the protection breaks down and he has to throw that one away only 56 yards passing so far in this ball game. It's going to be second down and 10. Let's see if there's any other statistical guys here on Arizona or Anchorage. Well, I didn't talk about the quarterback for Anchorage. Dane Jones. He's over 3,500 yards passing so far in this game. Turns up to run and gets sacked. And there goes Shabazz Holmes Harris. SHH coming through with the big play and now it's third and long coming up here for Arizona. The rookie making the job happen there on that play protections breaking down again and bringing them down is going to be Ezreal Watkins coming through two straight sacks. Stops the drive again for Arizona, and they're going to have to send it away again on the punt. And this defense here for Anchorage is looking really nice right now tonight. Sending this one away here. He's going to be returned, pushing forward. Makes one man miss, but not the second. Mikey Jackson coming through. He said that 80 divided by 4 is 20, so I got to hit you four times as hard just to bring it down. He's a big dude. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's first and 10 coming up. Dane Jones coming back onto the field, coming into this game over 3,500 passing yards. Let's see touchdown wise. He is currently at 20, so less than the Anchorage, uh, less than the uh, Arizona quarterback, uh, Action Jackson Jr., but still a solid year nonetheless as we're going to make it second and four. Going to pass it quickly across the middle of the field, trying to get it to justice, but the pass a little off the mark. Just got to let it ride a little bit don't got to be too crazy there's going to be third and four
passing it again, looking for a man. Takes off to run and runs over a man. Going to slide down as Dane Jones and using the strength. Looking like Cam Newton from back in the day just trucked a man. It kept it pushing. Dane Jones showing some heart tonight. He's going to keep the chains moving with his legs. What a play there from the quarterback. He must have heard his stats and was like, look, I got some more work to do. As we see a fake of the handoff here, blocking solid. The pass is better. There goes Keenan Kurt spinning off of a man, spinning over and gets inside Arizona territory. All of the players here for Anchorage fired up knowing that they're going to play some extra football after this ball game and they're not letting Arizona off the hook. Gina DeClina Buckley playing later on tonight. Going to be passing this one here. Middle of the field and caught. Turns up and there goes yet another broken tackle here from this offense. This time it's from their big wide receiver Keith, Keith Simmons. Two for 63 so far in this ball game, and it's another first down coming. Gina trying to make history here with their team. Looking for a man and going to be caught. Dragged down by the face mask, and Tank Falco Jr. just did another bad error. That's going to move him forward, and it's going to make it half a distance to the goal. It's first and 10 coming again here for Anchorage as we approach the final moments or the final minutes here in the second. Timmy Carlson. TK 39. Half back for Huntington Beach. He says, don't leave me out too. I'm going to be playing as well. Looking middle of the field and caught. And there goes Keith Simmons. Big bucket Anchorage making the touchdown. And now they're up two scores. And that is a big bucket drive here for Anchorage as they knock through the extra point. 14 to nothing is your score. Snow Devils looking primed for the playoffs. And honestly, you can't help but to be impressed by what they've been able to do this season. They've been close every single year they've been in the league. They've been right on the fifth seed or maybe in the sixth seed, but maybe a couple of games away. But now that Dane Jones has been turning up, we've been seeing their best effort all game long, all season long. And can't wait to see what they could do against St. Louis. They got to travel to the land of the arches. And up to this point, they have yet to beat them. I'm not sure about all time, but I know for at least this season. Anchorage has found a way to not be able to get the victory. Sean Justice in the chat saying this year's job is not finished. As we see a return close to the 30. Going to make it first and 10 coming up. As we see Action Jackson Jr. come back onto the field with his offense. Only down two scores. Definitely manageable here, but they need to get their offense a lot more consistent if they want to find something happen. And they're going to launch this middle of the field. Launching for it, and he just got smacked in the air. It's Jackson Rodriguez. He could not hang on through contact. And that almost went straight into the hands of an Anchorage player. Going to make it second and ten. And now the defense is showing that fire. In any other league, that could be knocking the player out of the game with how he felt. But you see the heart in all of these players as we show out and going to be a handoff. Going to be a flag on the play, but what's the flag? They said it's a holding penalty on the right guard. So back it up again. It's second and 19 coming. He said almost got that man killed. Weak eye formation here. I'm going to be passing it. Looking for a man again. Launching his middle of the field and almost picked off twice. 
as there are no passing lanes to speak of here in this ball game. It's going to be third and 19 coming up here for Arizona. Need to get past the 38 yard line in order to keep this drive alive. Turn it up off the back foot. Going to be picked off. And Kyro Ramsey comes back for it. That is going to be a great stop there from that defensive back. And here comes Anchorage again. Going to send Sean Justice in motion. Going to fake it to him and then fake it one more time. Going to launch his way. And he's going to get stuck there by another rookie. There goes Tank Falco Jr. coming through with the play. A gain of nothing, but it is another catch there from Sean Justice. Second and 10 coming up. Looking for a man to throw it to. But watch this right side and caught. Turn it up. And there goes Keenan Kurt. KK 33. And he's going to burn the defense. Put on another touchdown for Anchorage. It's starting to get ugly here in Phoenix. I don't know if y'all seen it. Looked like the ad just ended for you guys for what I'm seeing on my screen, but it was a catch there from the tight end Keenan Kurt, who was able to turn up for the touchdown. And now it's 21 to nothing. Now Arizona has to dig their way out of a deeper hole. And it's getting out of hand here a little bit. He said we might be looking at some rest for round one at this rate. <laughs> Luckily enough for you, there are no such thing as getting players pulled. <laughs> but looks like Kyle Wu is checking in for the first time. What's going on, big homie? Not exactly what he wants to see from his team. But right now, there's still plenty of game left. Arizona has the ability to score in bunches as well. They've shown the ability to score. But this Anchorage defense has been playing near flawless. And it's going to make it first and 10 coming up. The two-minute warning is available for them along with their three timeouts. Now they just got to put it together. Handoff. Here comes Jacob Cool Beans getting to the 30-yard line. Not too much else. Again, a gain of four on the play, and that should take us to the two-minute warning. D'Amico, what's happening? I believe that's Davin Brewer from Tacoma, if I do remember. Who had himself a solid season, if I do say so myself. One of the one of the few players with over a hundred uh with one thousand yards rushing, so had himself a great year. Davin Brewer with uh, six touchdowns on the season. A lot of great names in this game for sure. But it's all made by you guys, so make sure you give it up to you. This is going to be a right side pass, and there goes, uh, looks like number 86. So that is going to be Jaquay Walls coming through with the catch on the sideline. That'll keep the chains moving. Clock continues to roll, though, as they go to the no huddle. Looking for a man here. Look for someone to throw it to. And running out of time, and Shabazz Holmes Harris says, you're going a little bit too close to your own end, to our end zone. We got to back you up a little bit. And that's a loss of 15, as Action Jackson Jr. just could not get that away. It was either throw it in coverage or take the sack. As we see another pass here, looking to launch his left side. is going to be caught, pretty much getting some of the yards back, and that's really about it. It's going to be third and 16 now. Anchorage could call a timeout here, but they're not really pressing the issue. 
Looking to pass it again, launching this left side, but he burnt his man right there, Sean McGowan. Did you see the acceleration before it got home? That is what Sean McGowan could do for your offense, and that's actually going to put Arizona in a really good spot as they called their first as they called their first time out. Look for a man again. Millfield and caught. Turn it up. Gets close to the 20. And they'll call their second time out. That was just pure release right there from the wide receiver. He's just like, choo. It's going to make a second and one coming up. Looking to pass it here, looking short middle of the field. Makes well tries to make one man miss, but he's just gonna pick the first down up. And more than likely gonna take the field goal attempt, put some points on the board, at the very least, avoid the safety. I mean avoid the shutout. Let's go ahead and get into it. Unless Arizona's filling themselves, they're like, hey, we could get seven right here. And it looks like they do have their offense on. Arizona playing very aggressively. They said they need touchdowns if they want to win. Going to look for a man, but runs into a sack. And that is more than likely going to close this half. And a critical error there from Arizona as the score remains at 21 to nothing. We'll take it to the end of the second. Shout out to the big homies at the ECFL provide a majority of these players that you see here today shout to goals and the GSB as well as our other affiliates doing hockey and basketball respectively shout out to Debbie if you need some of that energy drink fix you might as well get the best of the best the one that supports the league you're watching so make sure you get that use that code USFAS9 to get 10% off of each and every order as we see the carry there from Ron Jalone didn't pass the 30 yard line and a pain of eight and also shout out to paladin as well if you need some software help for your business that's the perfect place to go sign a contract with them let them know that stack sent you it's gonna be second and two here pushing through and he didn't need too much to get the first He's trying to use his blockers to potentially spring him free for a bigger gain, but I'm sure he'll take it. It's going to be first and 10 coming. Shotgun set coming. Millfield and almost picked off. As that pass was wide to his receiver there. It's going to be second and 10 coming. Passing it again. Looking for a man. Takes off to run and throws this one away. Not much he could do there. Pocket was collapsing. Going to make it third and 10 now. Passing it here, looking for a man to throw it to on the run and tackled immediately. So the Arizona defense will stand tall and they'll give their offense another chance here in the third. Going to set up fourth and five. We'll see Brent Skoma come out for this punt. Sending this one away. Looking for a great bounce. Going to get a great bounce as it rolls to the four. Going to be kneeled down or touchdown right there. 
And that's going to make it first and 10 at the four yard line. Now the special team showing up here for Anchorage. Shotgun set here. And they are going to pass out of it. Looking for a man. Going to be caught. And that will give us some breathing room for sure. You already know who it was. It was Sean McGowan coming through with the big catch. And that's going to make it first and 10 coming. Passing it left side and deflected. Heads up played there from the linebacker Parker Howe. Going to make that second and 10. As they hand it off this time around in a big hole for Copeland, who's going to push past the 30 down to the 35 yard line. Jason Copeland trying to do something crazy. It's first and 10 coming. Handoff again, pushing forward and getting close to the 40. They'll mark him at the 39-yard line. It's going to be second and six coming up. Gonna pass it again, looking for a man middle of the field and gonna be caught running backwards, but still finds a way to cut back up to get the first down. Making a couple defenders miss is Jackson Rodriguez. He's gonna make it first and 10 coming up. Wolf Gold shooting for the shutout. In the chat, he says, let's keep him at zero, please. They do have a decent enough kicker, so I'm assuming if they do have a chance, they will take the points. As we see the man take off, sheds off one man, makes one man miss, and then just slides down. Looked like he was getting ready to get that strip through how he was holding the football, but he did a little shake and bake move, got around the defender, and he was able to make something happen out of it. Picks up four. I know Wolf Gold was hoping that he would get that strip animation because he would have been dead to rights, I think, because we see the handoff pushing forward. And there goes Sean Snow using his own set of power to get inside the 40. Arizona, they said they have no quitting them. Even though he is pointing in the wrong direction, he is inactive for a reason. I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm supposed to be impartial. It's first and 10 coming up. Stretching this to the right side, looking to push through, going to pick up about two or three. They said he got two. Second and eight coming up. Shotgun said, here comes... Axel Jackson Jr. barely gets that pass off. Could have been a fumble there, but his arm did go forward technically. He's going to be third and eight. Going to be sending this one away again. Middle of the field and going to be caught. There goes McGowan down to the three. And the second time this ball game, he went over the top on a defensive player. He's going to make it first and goal. Arizona trying to score. They made it to the spot before. They made it to the spot before and got stopped. So nothing secured yet. But it looks like Sean Snow says, shut up, Stacks. I got to get some points for my squad. We're going to end it how we want to end it. 
and they will put on their first touchdown of the game. Sending this one up. And the kick will be good. 21 to 7. As Arizona is going to have to send it back to the Anchorage Snow Devils. Don't forget the giveaway is coming soon. So make sure you watch out for that. But it's almost 420 left in the third. So if you don't have your spot in the giveaway, make sure you do it. I believe right now we are at 11 so appreciate each and every one of you that did join hopefully you're still watching now that the shutout is not a possibility Anchorage is just looking to put up some points now as we see the return past the 20 cuts around got the flag on a play reaching over to 30 it should be coming back and there goes Herrick Denry the backup bringing a man down when he ain't supposed to thank you so much Ryan Davis for throwing out 15 bitties beam 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 down to Marco it's like that <laughs> handoff coming to finding a little bit of a crease probably should have took that hole towards the middle of their offensive line he probably would have got more than four but four is not a bad amount on the ground second and six coming mr crowland what's happening big homie welcome back to the gameplay here as we see the pass coming looking right side and caught and I think he's going to be a little short of the first right there he's going to make it first and 10 coming up oh they did give it to him okay my bad Crowland said watch out for him in the draft he says he wants to be a first rounder especially with how small the draft class is I mean Maybe taking a chance on a guy that's been faithful to the league might not be a bad thing for you to do. That's just my thought process on it. Like, if I was still an owner, I'd take a chance if I didn't have an active tight end. That's just me. Passing it again. Middle of the field and caught. There goes Keith Simmons pushing past the 40. And the drive continues. Dane, I was about to say Dane. Dane Jones cracking 200 passing yards in his ball game. Not expecting too many pass yards from here on out. Seeing as they do have the solid lead, I'm sure they're going to be trying to work the clock in their favor. So we might see a couple more run plays. You see right there, they only ran 30 plays on offense, but they're looking for something here. Left side is wide open there for Ben Blazin, the two-lane product, getting to midfield on that play, picking up nine. His first catch of the game. Gonna be hand this one off and gonna run out of real estate. Herrick Denry could not give it the first down as Brett Eisenhower makes the tackle on the backfield. Gonna make it third and two coming up. Third and two, passing it again, looking for a man, looking middle field, and had a man wide open, but the pass off the mark. Now it's going to be fourth and two here, kind of an interesting spot here. Anchorage could technically go for it if they want to try to burn more clock. But in my opinion, I just say let Arizona have it. Get the stop on defense, see what you can do. Sending this one away to the right side. 
Looking for a bounce. Look at Brent Skoma rumble. A perfect bounce down to the one yard line. And Arizona has to start deep in their own territory again for the second straight drive. Brent Skoma in his bag right now. Handoff and it's a big hole pushing forward. There's a flag on the play though, so it's more than likely gonna go half a distance. Actually, no, it was in the end zone, so that is a safety. I didn't even realize it. I thought it was a little bit outside, but that is gonna be two points and the possession going back to Anchorage. What? The pass rush nearly gets all the run stopping ability nearly gets home and a critical error there from Arizona sends the ball right back and now they're two points deeper special teams matters and you got to give credit where credit is due that was all by Brent Skoma Sending this one away to safety punt. Looking for the return and using that speed to get past the 35 yard line. Anchorage coming through with the business. Passing it again, looking for a man middle field and caught. Gonna be another first down, BB2. Coming through with the big play. Should have one more play left in the third quarter. We shall see. We'll see how the runoff goes. Now, they're more likely gonna let it sit. But nonetheless, a great game. Throw your fours up. Let's get into it. One more play and then we could do the giveaway for show. Gonna pan it off. Push it forward. And it looks like he's gonna get a solid gain of about five. Let's go ahead and get into the giveaway. We gotta spin it. See what's happening. Who's gonna get the victory here in this one. So many prizes to choose. And it looks like it's going to be a straight up 15 TPE. And don't worry that I haven't done the uh, posting the giveaway stuff like that. I'm going to get to it eventually. So uh, <laughs> we're going to get make sure your TP and everything that you won is good to go uh, from week seven onwards. So I'll make sure that's all straight. So we're going to get to see. We got to go and see who is going to get the victory here in the giveaway for the first game our third to last of the regular season. And we're gonna go ahead and check it out real quick if you don't mind me doing it. 11 entries and the winner will be Gina Declina Buckley from Huntington Beach. And Ryan Davis called the shot, said Huntington Beach is getting it. And surely enough, it's going right back to the potentially soon to be undefeated Huntington Beach Voyagers. And that's a pretty interesting set right there for sure. But we got to go ahead and get back into the gameplay. Let me go ahead and flip it for you. So we get back to the, all the goodness. Dodge left said BRB. Gina DeClina says she got 15 TPE. She said, I'll take it. Looking to get up the field and getting close to a first down. Gina DeClina, very underrated player. The stats in regards to the tackles and such doesn't speak to how great she's been on the field in her limited time on the field. One of the few players that does not has not played a full season 
and she is a half a sack away from getting 10 sacks. That is just immaculate. As he's doing the Statue of Liberty, did he get it? They said he did. Looking like Michael Jordan off Space Jam. Ron Jalone making the play. And that was a good hit right there from Tank Falco Jr. But those are the type of plays you want to more wrap up. Make sure he doesn't go forward. And Anchorage will take advantage of it. They're going to keep the drive alive. Expecting a lot more run plays here. They're going to go ahead and send Ben Blazin. Going to go ahead and fake it to him, but hand it off and get stuck right at the 40. Or maybe the 30, uh, 41 yard line. Gina said immaculate. I'm not 100% sure how many games she's played this season, but if you don't play 14 and he still gets in, that's a W. As we see the handoff and dragging the man past the 35 yard line, going to pick up seven. Here comes third and three. Well, picking up seven after the, the last first down that they got. I formation coming. Not quite in field goal range, but maybe. Who knows? Looking for a man again. Passing his left side and caught. Pushing forward and gets to the 25-yard line. And Ron Jalone is doing what he needs to do. The drive continues, and so does the clock. And that's going to make it first and 10 coming up. Our short game offense is so fun as they hand it off again. There goes Ron Jalone picking up a couple. I think she came on week four. I mean, a sack a game, even if that's 10, 10 weeks. I mean, that's a sack a game. That means you're doing something. So really can't speak on how great of an asset uh, she's been for Huntington Beach. Along with all the rookies, all the rookies there for Huntington Beach has just been playing out of their mind right now. Miller field and caught. There goes Keenan Kurt, who gets to the nine yard line. And the drive continues to roll here for Anchorage, who can more than likely put this game away after one more touchdown. Passing it again, looking for a man to throw to. Protection breaking down, hit as he throws, throwing it away. And it's going to make a second and goal coming up. And Elisa better step it up for, for us so she's inspired. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of teams that could use a safety like an Annalisa McCullo there on their team. Anchorage been in control all game, 100% agree with Ryan Davis. Passing it right side is going to be caught. Keenan Kurt reaching out for the end zone, but just a little short. They'll mark him down at the one yard line. And now it's going to be third and goal. Already has a touchdown on the game. So if he could get two, I'm sure he'll be happy with his stats. He's another player that didn't start in the beginning of the season. And in my opinion, if he played all season long, he'd be up there with uh, Vic Dotson as he looks for the block. And it's another stop in the backfield. Doc good on with the great run coverage, backing them up a little bit. Anchorage is going to have to settle for three. Sending this one up, and it's going to be all day. 26 to 7 in favor of Anchorage. Arizona once again coming back onto the field the final five and a half minutes of what we will see in season number nine here for Arizona this is going to be a fun ride here as always folks don't go anywhere we still got another game tonight will we make history or will the team that is potentially making history fall short
Brent Skoma. Fresh off of picking up three points will send this one away into the back of the end zone. Another kneel down. And that's going to be first and 10 coming up. Ryan Davis says he's calling this shot again. His team got the giveaway in this ball game. He says he's going to seems going to get the giveaway on the next game and they're going to get the W. He said that, not me. I, I'm just repeating what he said. And if he didn't say it in the chat, that's what he was thinking. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Looking for a short drop back. Passing the left side and caught. There goes Jackson Rodriguez. Making the first and 10 after that catch. Getting close to the 40. Will I have most chips if HBV wins again this season? In regards to all of your players or just one? Because Dexter Jackson is up there. In, a, in regards to like how many chips is won and stuff like that. So... Maybe, who knows? Looking for a pass again, looking left side. They're going to be incomplete. It's looked like uh, Sean McGowan could not hang on to it. It's going to be second and 10. Just been informed the family making chili tonight is elite. Overall, I mean, you're up there for sure. I know Preston is up there in regards to rings. But he's going to launch this one right side. It's going to be almost picked off there from number 22. That's going to be third and 10 coming. I will be able to tune into our game tonight. I love to see it. It's a, monu it's a monumentous uh, game right there. So I would hope that you'd make it. So I'm happy to hear that for sure. I should be getting it rolling around 730. That's my goal. Look for a pass middle field and caught. There goes Sean McGowan again. We normally get toasted on that play. Love the adjustment. I'll have to check the ring count. Actually, let me see if I can bring that up. Passing it again. Looking right side is caught. Getting past the 40. We're going to make it second and three coming. Second and three coming, passing it again short. Going to be a quick dart to get him close to the 30, but not much else. It's going to be first and 10 coming. I believe we had a 26 to 14 score earlier this week, so that'll be interesting if Arizona is able to score. Might have the same score twice. Yes, sir. Traffic is the worst, so my parents won't be here for a few hours for family Christmas. You love to see it. Make sure to get home safe as always. Right side is caught, and another first down play here for Arizona as we inch closer to the two minute warning. That's why Caboose wants to ban me. <laughs> I gotta see if I can bring it up real quick. Let me see if I can bring my sheets up. Is there? There's, there goes the two minute warning for sure. Where are you? There you go. Going past this one right side, getting inside the red zone with that play. It's first and 10 coming. No, that ain't it. Oh, yeah, it is in the Discord. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I showed it to the admins, but I'm going to post it eventually after the season so you all can keep up. You know what I'm saying? As we see the pass again, there goes the halfback. Going to make it. Second and one. There you go. Looking to pass it here. Right side is caught. And there goes an easy touchdown there for Amari Jones. So at the very least, they will end it 
in regards to getting their touchdown on their more than likely final drive, but a great job nonetheless there from Arizona. He said, if Huntington Beach wins the United Bowl, I may be banned too. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? <laughs> Sending this one away though. Kick is up. Kick is gonna be good. 26 to 14 is your score. And I'm just looking through the players here. Right now, the leader is Rebecca Montaigne with four rings. Dexter Jackson, you are tied with well with the linebackers Billy Bob Booker Thompson and David Koala. Um, yeah, so pretty much your own teammates that you won the championships with. You all you all have three. Uh, cornerbacks, uh, they have two, and the leading safeties are Trey Smith and Bob McBob there with three. Preston Dotson has two. But in regards to overall players, Rebecca Montaigne has four. And let me see the line, the cornerbacks. And Caitlin has one. So total for those two, they have five. In regards to my players, my players only have two rings, apparently. Trash. I'm just kidding. But we do have, but I do have a second most. So I ain't mad at it. Handoff here, pushing forward and going to call the timeout. But in regards to like total for you guys, it'll be four. So you're one behind Montaigne. Assuming uh, St. Louis or Charlotte doesn't win the championship. I mean, they should be able to have uh, you should be able to tie it up with Huntington Beach getting the victory. So you never know. Handoff pushing forward, gonna get past the 40. And they'll call the second time out there is Arizona. Ryan Davis saying this will be my first season long ring too, but one game at a time, undefeated first, then we go get the ring. <laughs> Gotta stay focused. He had one. Action Jackson uh Action Senior. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, he has two, so that's three, four, five, six. So yeah, you have overall more rings out of all your plays than anyone else. You are right about that. And that'll be the last nail in the coffin in this ball game as more than likely it'll be up to Anchorage to kneel it down. GG's. And yes, you were late for the drawing there, Blake, but we'll have another game to do it here. So make sure you watch out for it. It's going to be a fun ride as always. It's going to be Dallas heading to Huntington Beach. And this will be the final game of tonight. Huntington Beach. 13 and 0 currently. All they got to do is beat the team that they've already defeated. This time at home. And they'll be the first undefeated team in USFA history. So make sure you watch out for that. Um, it's 717 now. So uh, expect around like 740. Really just depends on how quick I can get the stats out, how how fast I can get the games up and stuff like that. Luckily enough for me, I already put in the attributes for all the players, so I don't have to worry about it too much. So that's going to be it on this ball game. I'm going to go ahead and flip over so we can get to the stats. Let's go ahead and get into it. Final score. It's going to be 26 to 14 in favor of the big homies in Anchorage. They will finish their season above water for sure, getting a solid record and making their way into the playoffs. Like I said before, technically they got it last week, but they got some good momentum for sure. As we check out the stats here, let's go into the play of stats. Dane Jones, 21 for 30, 274, three TDs, uh, nine yards per attempt. That's crazy. That's pretty good right there. The longest 51. Action Jackson's longest is 34. He did have a touchdown and an interception, 26 for 41 to close the year there for AJJ as he preps for season 10 along with his crew. We'll talk about him a little bit. And he said, don't forget the alternative unis. I got you. 
Um, rushing wise, Ron Jalone, 13 for 55. Not too many big, big runs all the way through. It was pretty contained for the most part, but he sees the average here um, for Arizona's for halfbacks. They're pretty high, so they're able to break through, but the score just got away from them. Uh, five for 38 and a touchdown there for Sean Snow. Jason Copeland, four for 33. Eric Thinry, three for one. Dane Jones, three for nine. JCB there, two for six. Ben Blazin, one for five. And Action Jackson Jr. gets one for four. No fumbles or anything like that. It looks like Jason Copeland had the biggest carry there with 17. Make sure I got them all. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the run game there. Arizona's offense, this is how they look. Looks like Sean McGowan leads the way with another great game. Six catches, 118 yards. Amari Jones, six catches, 37 yards, and a touchdown. Sean Snow, 5 for 29. Jackson Rodriguez, 4 for 37. Jaquay Walls, 2 for 20. 2 for 15 there for JCB. Jason Copeland, 1 for 2. Drops, looks like a good amount of drops here. One apiece for Jones, Walls, Rodriguez, McGowan, and Snow. So pretty much all of their main uh, uh, wide receivers and tight ends and halfbacks. They all found a way to drop the football, but Sean McGowan did get the longest catch of the game there for Arizona with a 34-yarder. On the other side, the leading catcher will be Ron Jalone with the six-catch, 35-yard, one TD game. Keith Simmons, four for 94 in the touchdown. Keenan Kurt, four for 74 in the touchdown. Sean Justice, four for 29. Ben Blazin, two for 20. Wyatt Harris, one for 22. Drop wise, looks like it was only Keith Simmons that had to drop, and it looks like Keith Simmons had the longest catch there with 51 yards. So great job there overall. There for Anchorage. Uh, defense wise, we'll start with Anchorage. Uh, Mike Edwards led the way with 11 tackles. Parker Howe with eight. Cairo Ramsey with six. Jar Martinez with five. Lacey Woodson with four. Ezra Watkins with four. Shabazz Holmes Harris with four. Robert Crone with three. Wyatt Harris with two. Christo Rendor with two, uh, Dash Slay with one, Herrick Denry with one, Head Darian with one, Mike McIver there also with one. Tackles for loss wise, looks like Parker Howe is the only one with one. Shabazz Holmes Harris and Ezreal Watkins each have two sacks today to close out their regular season. Can't be mad at that. Cairo Ramsey, the only INT, but didn't go anywhere, but it was still a big one nonetheless. Head Darian there with two pass deflections. Jar Martinez, Parker Howe, Mike Edwards, Cairo, Ramsey, and Mike McIver, each with a pass deflection. No fumbles or anything like that. There was a safety, but it was a penalty type safety, so no stats to log there. On the other side, though, looks like the leading tackler will be Tank Falco Jr. with nine in his final regular season game of his rookie season. A great season, nonetheless, there for Tank Falco. A lot of big plays for him. Uh, Doc Goodon there with seven. Reese Rockefeller with six, Brett Eisenhower with five, Calvin Thomas there, who had himself a big, big season in regards to sex. He did a great job. He had five tackles. Uh, Bruno Davis with five, Mikey Jackson there with four, Trevor Halifax with three, Tyler Rogowski with three, Hunter Jackson with three, Gus Pack with two, Kalon Chase with one, Tom Krieg with one, Slug Stern with one, and Sean McGowan also gets one. Uh, Eisenhower, Falco, and Goodon each have a tackle for loss. Only one sack between the whole team, and it was split between Calvin Thomas and Eisenhower. No INTs. Uh, Tank Falco Jr. with two pass deflections. Halifax Jackson and Jackson. Uh, Hunter Jackson and Mikey Jackson each having one. Great job. No fumbles or anything like that defensively, and that's all the defensive stats here. Uh, Kicking-wise... Looks like uh, Brent Skoma was perfect, so that definitely helped him get the victory. That is going to be six points in favor of Brent Skoma in regards to two for Felix Delachon. The reason why you see him twice is because the punter did the safety punt, and of course he isn't going to get any stats here outside of the kickoff there. So uh, looks like everything is good there. I'll still give the W to Brent Skoma in that regard. Uh, in regards to punts, Mm, I mean, it really depends on what you want to lean. Felix did have the bigger average, so I'll lean his way. Give him something in this ball game. Uh, Jaquay Walls, 4 for 102 on the kick returns. Keith Simmons, 1 for 16. Anthony Delano there, only one yard there on the return in regards to the onside. Not the onside kick. Was it onside kick? 
Yeah, it was on sack kick. Yeah, so going to get that rolling there. Punt return wise, Jaquay Walls two for twenty five. Keith Simmons two for eleven. That's all the stats there. And just going over the game breakdown. Uh, Ron Jalone there with the touchdown pass. Uh, Keith Simmons and Keenan Kurt coming through with their own touchdowns to close out the first half. Sean Snow gets the four yard touchdown run to get their first score of the game. Then they had a safety due to penalty, so Las Vegas ended up getting two points, so that was pretty crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. And then they both split points here. Uh, looks like Brent Skoma for uh, Anchorage. They got the field goal, 22 yards, and then Amari Jones ends the game and gets it going there to make it a little bit closer. But that's going to be it for this ball game, folks. Don't go anywhere. Going to be setting up for the final game of the evening and like I said before, it's going to be a fun ride here. Can Dallas do the unthinkable in their final game of the regular season? They're already eliminated, but it looks like Huntington Beach, they said they want to show out. They got the alternative unis in this ball game, and they want to finish out the regular season in style. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on Twitch for the final game. We'll talk to you later. He said, we will be here no matter what. Just like the USFA, I'm trying to tell you. Ah.